Hi, Train to Two. It's Stacey Gilwell again, Premier Level 5 Leader here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And I'm excited to do your third lesson with you this week. And we're going to talk about closing our preferred customers. Okay, and how do we do that? How do we work them through our funnel? Before I get started, I want to give you one more comparison that I have found so true between me doing CrossFit and Rodan and Fields is even this morning as I went to my workout, I mean, I work out with some incredibly in shape people and, you know, I just look at their legs and I'm like jealous of their definition and all that. And I just remember to myself that, you know, I can't compare myself to them because I know that they've been doing it three to five years. And even when it comes to technique or the ability to lift more weight or to do more reps or to even do an unassisted pull up. I just can't compare myself to them. And the same thing goes with this business, is that you can actually really paralyze yourself. You could almost talk yourself out of doing this business if you look at what others are doing or you're comparing yourself to their PSQV or their performance or just think, hey, I want to be, you know, level five right now and um, get yourself in a funk over that. Um, one thing you just have to do with this business is keep blinders on. I can't tell you how important it is to run your own race. And the race that you're on is unique to you. And um, trust me, it, you know, I know someday I'm going to have those defined legs that those other women have. I am going to be able to do an unassisted pull-up. Because I know if I stick with it and I remain consistent and I show up every day, it is going to pay off later on and I'm going to see results. And guys, that lesson is so important with this business is you just have to know that what you're doing each day is like just stepping blocks to building your business. So let's talk about that. So hopefully you guys are at the point now that you've made your list, you've done some reach outs, you're using the language that Liz and Becky has already given you. And you can go back in other videos and look at that language and what it is. And um, so what do we need to do next? How do we push our PCs through the funnel and close with them? It's funny, my husband's in the Marine Corps, and before he went out to be for South Carolina, um, he was a recruiter. And of course, recruiters, I mean, they're, they're having men and women sign their lives away to the Marine Corps. So he always tells me, babe, ABC, always be closing. So, and it's true. Like, he'd come home at the end of the day, and he'd be like, who did you close today? So um, if you have that frame of mind, um, that's really important. So let's talk about closing. We do want to follow up, all right? Um, follow up is the key. You know, very rarely do you get a preferred customer on the first reach out. So many of you guys are following up with some people this week that you've reached out to last month, and that's good, all right? Um, so let's find out what their need is. All right, very simply, if they're interested in product, we want to get them on the solution tool. All right, and your solution tool is found on your main page of your .com site. Okay, it's basically at the bottom right-hand corner of it. You'll see, click on that tab, and it takes you right to your solution tool. A lot of times, I will copy and paste that um, URL, you know, or just send it through an email, or send it through a text message, or send it through Facebook. Okay, just my solution tool. And I will tell people, hey, screenshot your results or let me know what they are. Um, because sometimes they're not always emailed to you, and I just feel like that's better personal interaction anyway. So, guys, take the guesswork out of it for yourself. Um, let them, you know, ask them what the results are. You can even walk them through that skincare consolation. There's no, there's no reason why you can't, okay? Call them up and say, hey, you got two minutes? Let me walk you through this. Um, Sometimes when I follow up, I feel like I'm kind of stuck in the mud um, with where to go with our conversation. So sometimes I offer them a mini facial, all right? And what a mini facial is, is actually, we'll send this in the mail, is a packet of our microderm abrasion paste. It is one of our night serum capsules, and it is one of our lip serum capsules. And I basically put them all together in a little packet like this. And um, I'll put that like in a bubble envelope and I'll mail that to them. What I feel like this does sometimes is break the ice with the people that I'm trying to close on. Um, people love free stuff. 
So if you say, if you just shoot them a simple message that says, hey, Susie, um, I just had you on my mind today. Um, would you care to sh care for me to send you one of my mini facials? I'm sending some out today. Um, I've had no objections with that, and I'll just follow up saying, hey, what's your address? And a lot of times I just kind of put your foot in the door to then message them back with the conversation of, hey, Susie, what did you think of that mini facial that I sent you? Um, how about we get you started on that redefine you're looking at? Okay, um, I'm also, you know, as far as mini facials go too, I'm going to post, um, this is one of the mini facial poems, and I'll actually post that to, to this um, information video as well. But mini facials can be used, you know, as a good icebreaker, as a way to get your foot in the door, to get people to order. Um, I've had to have pretty good success with that. Um, Okay, finally, I want to show you this illustration that we got from um, the leadership conference in San Francisco, and this was used with one of our leaders that shared with us, and I love it. Um, this is working people through your funnel, okay? She actually used funnel as F-U-N, big word, big letters, N-E-L, so fun, it's funnel, okay? So um, if you just want to look at this, the first part is introduction, you tie your name to the products, Okay, and um, the interest, you want to find their interest, perhaps walk them through, um, ask them if they're interested in skincare, okay, or if they're interested in the business side. Discovery, walk them through the solution tool, find out what products they're interested in. Objections, okay, and this is kind of where we get stuck sometimes, and I know um, last month Liz did an amazing video about objections, so I want you guys to revisit that. There's also a um, PDF in the file section that helps you overcome any objections to that your um, prospective clients might have, like cost. Um, oh gosh, cost is probably the biggest one. And I'll give you a point on that. What I found to be pretty helpful is that if they are a little intimidated with the cost of the regimen, I will get them started on a couple products within that regimen say two of them and then the next month of reorder I add the other two with them okay so break it down you, you know you just need $80 to make them a PC so um, shoot get them started on eye cream and microdermabrasion paste those are both excellent products to kind of you know get your clients foot in the door but you know get get them to $80 so they become a preferred customer you know maybe sometimes offer to pay their PC enrollment fee um, I do that also so those are just some hints to overcome the objection of it costs too much. All right, um, then finally, we want to work our way to the decision, okay? They say no, get a referral from them, okay? Say, hey, maybe these products aren't right for you, but do you know someone that would, would like them, okay? And if they do say yes, let's make the close. And simply what I say when I make the close with my PCs is, Hey, Sally, I know that you've been, you know, eyeing Redefine. How about we get you all set today? Um, only take me a couple minutes. You actually can send your information to me um, over a text message, and I'll get you all set, and the products will be at your door in just a few days. What do you say? Always end your messages with a question. That is extremely important because it gives them a sense to reply to you, okay? Um, so... Well, those are my tips today for gaining preferred customers. I am going to put this um, sheet up um, attached to this video. And um, good luck, guys. Remember, ABC, always be closing.